Are you interested in becoming a licensed North Carolina mortgage loan originator? Started your application and are wondering about the required background check and fingerprinting process? We are here to help you. In this video, we will explain the background check requirement and how it pertains to your North Carolina mortgage loan originator license application. As you can imagine, an MLO license carries a need for an exceptionally high degree of personal responsibility and a demonstration of upstanding personal character. You are being entrusted with large financial transactions and must be trusted to do so honorably and truthfully. Such being the case, per the regulations set forth by the NMLS Resource Center, every mortgage loan originator, whether state or federally registered, is required to complete a criminal background check, or CBC, through NMLS. Completion of the criminal background check authorization request is required for submission of your application form. State licensure requires completing the form MU4 for your background check. The criminal background check performed is a Federal Bureau of Investigations level check. It is important to note Skyline School is not able to determine whether or not a past incident on your background check will keep you from being considered, though we will examine potential disqualifications for licensure in just a moment. Questions regarding individual circumstance must be submitted directly to NMLS. Life happens, and we all make the occasional mistake. What could be on your background check that could disqualify you? Per the North Carolina Office of the Commissioner of Banks, any applicant that fulfills requirements presented in North Carolina General Statute 53-244.050 will be granted a license. However, a license will be denied to applicants that have any of the following in their background report. An MLO license that was revoked in any governmental jurisdiction. A conviction, guilty plea, or no contest, or nolo contendere plea to a felony in any court. This includes not only domestic courts in the United States, but also to any foreign or military court. As an applicant, you will need to disclose any such felony plea or conviction that has occurred in the seven years prior to your date of application. However, it is very important to note that there is no statute of limitations or expiration date for the disclosure of any felony convictions or pleas that involved any act of fraud, dishonesty, breach of trust, and or money laundering. Additionally, applicants will need to disclose if they have been convicted or pled guilty or no contest in the five years prior to application to any misdemeanors indicating crimes of moral turpitude or fraud, false statements or omission, theft or wrongful taking of someone else's property, bribery, forgery, counterfeiting, extortion, the conspiracy to commit any of these crimes, or any crime involving financial service or financial service-related business. As you can see, the licensure commissioner has very strict and detailed guidelines in regards to the types of occurrences on a criminal background report that will disqualify an applicant from becoming a licensed MLO. This is an understandable consideration, given that a mortgage loan originator is directly involved in large financial transactions, displaying a track record of upstanding morality and strength of character is integral to your success as an applicant. To begin the authorization for your criminal background check, you will need to go to the NMLS website at mortgage.nationwidelicensingsystem.org. Your authorization to submit for a federal criminal background check and schedule your appointment to be fingerprinted 
will be completed entirely through your NMLS account. While you are completing your application and request forms, it is important to remember to disclose any applicable event or circumstance that may be found on your criminal background check. Be sure to include any and all dates of occurrences, court documents, and legal filings, and complete explanations of the circumstances of any charges. When in doubt, it is always best to list it out. Once your background check authorization has been submitted to NMLS, you will need to schedule an appointment to be fingerprinted. After your CBC authorization has been received, you will automatically receive a link to register to be fingerprinted through the NMLS fingerprint registration portal. When you are ready to schedule, you will be able to select a location convenient to you and a time and date that will work well for your schedule. Fingerprinting locations in North Carolina are not limited to major cities like Raleigh and Charlotte. They also include sites in Davidson, Hampstead, Goldsboro, Wilmington, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, Hickory, Rocky Mount, Durham, Youngsville, Clayton, Greenville, Arden, Jacksonville, and Fayetteville. In addition to the location, you will be given the option to be fingerprinted using LiveScan electronic capture or traditional paper card capture. LiveScan fingerprint results are typically reviewed by the FBI and returned to NMLS within 48 hours. Paper card capture processing may require an extra day or two of processing time prior to submission to NMLS and does have an extra charge in order to provide the paper card capture supplies. Don't forget, you will need to be fingerprinted within 180 days. If you are not fingerprinted within 180 days, you will need to submit a new CBC. If you have already been fingerprinted for NMLS within the past three years, you will not need to be fingerprinted again. You may be curious about how much all of this will cost. Per the NMLS website, the processing fee for the CBC and fingerprinting using LiveScan technology is $36.25. For paper card capture, there will be a charge of $36.25 for the CBC processing fee, and then an additional charge of $10 for the fingerprint card packet. The total charge for paper card capture comes to $46.25. The additional $10 charge is to cover the cost of the fingerprinting supplies and processing them accordingly. As you can now see, submission of your federal background check and fingerprints are an integral part of your application to become a licensed mortgage loan originator with NMLS. Throughout the application submission process, you will be able to view your CBC completion and approval status by accessing Composite View from your individual NMLS account. Though the process can seem complicated, Skyline School is here to help get you on your way to becoming a licensed mortgage loan originator.